Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rintayan, and welcome back to Never Tales the Beauty Within. This is Act 18. When we last left off, we were in the middle of collecting the collectibles. And some of these are easier to find than others. Something to be said for looking at this while I was playing the game. Allows me to get through this a whole lot faster than I otherwise would have. But I don't remember where it was in this room. A gauntlet. I vaguely recalled that one. Huh. Having a bit of a hard time finding the... Is that a trumpet or a trombone? I think it's a really long trumpet. Okay, bow and arrow. A bow and arrow in this kind of place would be hard to spot. Definitely so if it's in a hidden area. Never mind. Oh, that was actually a really clever hiding spot. Cool. I wonder how many more collectibles I have to find. Fluffy kitty! I 
Now for a fluffy hamster. Or a mouse, or I'm not sure what that is, honestly. We almost done here. No, we have to do all the areas for the bonus game as well. Okay. Okay, we're looking for a unicorn. You know, when it came to creatures of purity, unicorns are usually what you think of. Or at least that's what I think of when I <coughs> think of a creature of great purity. I think this is the first time I've seen someone use a pegasus to represent that. I think we're almost done here. Ah, yep. Alibaba's treasure cave. Some sort of stand but has a hole in the center. Water is flowing through that small opening. If you didn't want anyone getting in there, best not leave the code right on the chest. Pretty self explanatory there. It's a flat and steady surface. Perfect. But to play something so it won't tip over or spill. Broken staff. Plenty of water here. Well, I have a cauldron. Now I have a full cauldron. doing ah okay okay
cork. Oh! And no water. Okay. For a morphine object. They're usually around the edges, really. Not always, though. object. Where are you? There you are. That looks like a unicorn horn. Putting it back where we initially plucked it from. Your sheer cunning and knowledge of ancient magic led you to a great fortune. The treasures of Alibaba. Spend them well. Will do. What can I do with this? Oh, there we go. Which is Candy House? Another morphine object. Bear with me as I try and find it. Piece of salmon on a cake. Yuck. That background sounding. Uh, what I'm assuming is a wolf howling. That sound right there. It makes me think of another game I once played. It was a really eerie and creepy game. Like, it wasn't scary, it was just kind of eerie. And that was one of the background sounds for it. And for the life of me, I can't remember. what the game was, and it's starting to bug me. Get almost about as much as not being able to find the morphine object. Oh, no, 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 that, it wasn't an eerie creep. it was a part of the game that was eerie and creepy. I just remembered it was... It was a Game Boy Advance game I played in the past. It was, it was a certain town in the game. going absolutely insane. Where is the morphine object?
Oh, in case you're wondering, it was... Golden Sun, the second one. Seriously? Where is the morphine object? It should be here somewhere. I think I've clicked on everything at least once. Am I just misclicking on it? Legitimately at a loss here. This is crazy. There isn't a morphine object in this? Oh, there isn't. Oh, I feel so dumb. I should have just checked over there a lot sooner. But at any rate, this is going to have to be Curtain Call. If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell before we know if I want to upload a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye-bye. <laughs>